next we will discuss about the sorting algorithm so we will discuss bubble sort so bubble sort is simple with this example so this is an example for bubble sort algorithm so here there are different numbers say total there will be six elements and the order is 5 4 6 1 3 2 so if we want to sort it in ascending order then smallest element should reach the leftmost position and the largest element should reach the rightmost position if we can arrange this like 1 2 3 4 5 6 that is the sorting method okay so here this is the order so in bubble sort algorithm adjacent elements are compared say 5 and 4 are compared then if largest element is on the left then this should be shifted to the right if smaller element is on the left we can keep it as such there is no swapping needed so at each and every point the only thing done is adjacent elements are compared so if j is the index of the element a of j and a of j plus 1 are compared so left side element will be a of j if this is the index is 0 next is 1 so a of j if that is greater than a of j plus 1 that means if the left element is greater then for ascending it has to shift so swapping should happen and this three line code is the code for swapping we use a temporary variable and one value is stored in the temporary variable in that location second variable value is saved now second variable is free to that the temporary variable is saved so here a of j and a of j plus one are swapped so this code is for swapping uh, a of j swapping a of j and a of j plus one okay this should happen only if left value is higher so now you can check this animation it will be more clear so after each pass so this stands for the first pass okay this is the first pass so this corresponds to i is equal to 0 next is second pass which corresponds to i is equal to 1 then next is third pass which is i is equal to 2 then i is equal to 3 i is equal to 4 total here the number of elements is 6 total 6 elements are there so if count is the number of elements say 6 number of passes required is 4 so it has to reach this is the limiting condition i should be less than count minus 1 that is i should be less than 5 that is i 0 to 4 total 5 passes okay i is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 in this example 0 1 2 3 4 and in each pass when i is equal to 0 all the elements have to be compared so j value will be from 0 to count minus i minus 1 that is 5 j is equal to 0 so for i is equal to 0 j is 0 to 5 when i is equal to 1 when i is equal to 1 j should be 0 to count minus i minus 1 that is j is 0 to 4 so here it is 0 1 2 3 4 it will check only till here because this is already sorted okay so comparison is only till 4 here it is only till 3 here it is only till 2 here it is only till 1 so as i increases j value is decreasing j stands for this value okay so here we have two loops the outer loop is i loop and i loop variable stands for the number of pass okay and the inner loop say j loop j stands for index of the element okay so that should be clear and then why this is coming i is the limiting value for i is i less than count minus 1 and the limiting value for j is count minus i minus 1 why here it is count minus i minus 1 that is because after each pass number of elements to be compared is getting less here the red color marked elements means they are already sorted so after first pass what happens the largest element is reaching 
rightmost position after second pass what will happen two elements have been sorted that means two elements uh, have been sorted from the rightmost end then three elements then four elements like that so as pass uh, is progressing or as i value is increasing number of elements to be uh, sorted is decreasing so for that we give j less than count minus i minus 1 so that relation is explained here very clearly so if you need you can write it by yourself so that it will be more clear with this example because this is only part of the code which we have to be which we have to understand in bubble sort this is the complete algorithm uh, that is covering bubble sort and one more thing is there all this explanation is for ascending order if we need it in decreasing order or descending order the only difference is that every the rest of the algorithm is all same but when adjacent elements are compared the smaller element should reach the right side so only difference is in the condition so if you need bubble sort algorithm to sort in decreasing order the only difference is instead of this greater than sign it should be less than sign that is the only difference to change the sort for decreasing order for ascending order we use like this so that leftmost element if that is greater it should be swapped okay so i think the algorithm is somewhat clear so let's check the code so this is the code in main function we first define an array say a bigger size say 100 and first asking user for the number of elements and it is saved in count then this uh, i is equal to 0 i less than count that is i value will be varying from 0 to count minus 1 and all the elements in the array are saved user will give the value and it is saved in the array a now the rest of the code i already explained i value corresponds to number of pass okay i value i stands for number of pass it will vary from 0 to count minus 2 that's why we give 0 Zero i is equal to zero i less than count minus one. Second j j stands for j stands for index of the element. Okay, and j it here it is not count minus one but it is count minus i minus one explanation I have given earlier. so within both these loops this is the condition to be verified if the left element is greater we should swap the corresponding two elements so this is the code for swapping now let's check the output number of elements say 6 now it is uh, arranged in ascending order and i explained earlier to compare uh, to Uh, just get this in descending order what we have to do is to get this in descending order the only difference is here you have to change the sign okay now again we will check the output number of elements is 6 11 33 22 44 again it is coming in descending order or decreasing order so this is how we write the code for bubble sorting